What's up guys, Sal here. So almost every big company has released a bezel-less smartphone, but there are some names out there like Nokia and Sony who still haven't jumped on the bandwagon yet. But that's about to change as Sony is finally moving away from its old design to a more modern bezel-less look. While we don't have an exact idea of what this device will look like, it seems that the specs of the device have leaked. So it will feature a 5.7 inch 4K HDR display with Gorilla Glass 5 on top and there's no mention of its aspect ratio. But based on the screen size and the phone's actual size, you can pretty much say it's gonna be a bezel-less phone. That said, some people don't like Sony's current smartphone design and I even heard some people say they're designed to be ugly. But personally, I think they make some of the most beautiful phones. Sure, the bezels are huge and very ugly to look at, but the overall designs are lovely in a sea of same looking phones. Few years ago, I had a Sony Xperia Z Ultra. Yeah, I broke it because I accidentally sat on it. Anyways, it was a massive phone, but despite its size, it looked so classy from all the angles. Sony knows how to build beautiful, elegant devices, that's for sure. And I'm positive this new phone with modern bezel-less design would look gorgeous as well. Of course, that said, we also have some other specs as well. It will have the Snapdragon 835, 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. It might not have a headphone jack, sadly, and no indication of any dual cameras. In other words, this is pretty much the Xperia XZ Premium with a bezel-less screen and that's pretty much it. On one hand, Sony has very little choice in the processor market because Samsung has already booked all of the initial batch of the Snapdragon 845 chipset and you can't say it's unfair but it is what it is. So I don't blame Sony for going with the older processor. But what I don't like is the memory configuration. Sure, Sony's UI is very light and doesn't need huge amount of RAM and 4 gigs is more than sufficient. The problem is that many manufacturers are doing 6 and some are even doing 8. Sony already has some of the worst sales numbers among the major Android manufacturers. If they can't do anything to differentiate themselves and have specs at least equal to competitors, those lackluster sales will only continue. And at this point, Sony will need to rely on a competitive price to make this phone a success. So yeah, let me know what you think of this in the comments down below and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out. Okay.